There's time to tell him everything later, once I find out who's responsible for this mess. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, but I only looked. It wasn't me who burnt it. Hey, Doc. Uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something. And I certainly don't mean chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else is up? <sighs> I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cutter. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. Ha, it's his own fault. <laughs> what a lard bag. Uh-oh. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Visco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiancée. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiancée. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar! Maybe she's about to have, um, uh, you know, a visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Oppenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Phew! Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Hang on! I'm on my way! Ouch! Oop. And... Whoa. Whoa. Hi! Ha! <sighs> Goal! What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable! Please! Get off there! It's dangerous! And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do! Danger is my middle name! Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Oh! Alright! No problem! Rufus, the screws! I'm on it. The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Yeah, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops.
any... Well, there is some uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh-oh. Oh, ah! uh, what have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I've got gotcha. you. Rufus, of course. Don't you know anything? Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly. Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you going to get rid of him? How? Uh, uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Uh... A pro never reveals his tricks. Oh, come on! How else would I know what f-stop to use? Hello? What's the big idea? Can't you see we're busy? Exactly. Uh, but the photo? Ugh. Go ahead and tell him what you're planning to do, so we can get on with it. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah! A residual light shot. I need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. Uh, I, I, I'll switch on my light vision equipment, just in case. There. Done. Do your thing, Rufus. Man, this is going to be so epic. Um, okay, okay. One, two... I'm blind! I'm blind! What? Whoa! <laughs> and... Ta-da! Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Gold, right? Who? Oh! <laughs> her, sure. <laughs> How are you going to do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should? Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. What are you doing aboard an Organon cruiser? Oh, uh, uh, that's a pretty interesting story. Too bad it's not about me. Let's discuss more exciting stuff. For instance, what about my exploits? Oh, boy! So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I've traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. Now, what was I about to do? Uh, save goal? Eh, I don't know. There's always time for that. How often do you, as a fan, get the opportunity to chat with your hero? Yeah. Sure, there's that, but... We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving goal first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow, you really are the greatest. Did you hear about the time I saved Gold from the claws of the Organon? Sure. The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary. Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic. <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course. You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of Cletus. That's how you learn that the Elysians are planning to blast Deponia to pieces. But they have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Prime controller Ulysses and Argos, his henchmen, are keeping this fact a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow. 
Sounds like you were there. Uh, what else would you like to know? Actually, I already know it all. I would much prefer to watch you perform a new feat of heroism. You already know it all? Don't make me laugh. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Goal. Yeah, but then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Hmm. All right. Then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Goal! I will save you! Ah! Uh, what are you saying? Ah! Ah! My soul belongs to you, my selfless hero? Ah! No, I can't understand a word. Wait, Goal, I'll shoot you free! But you're a crap shot! <laughs> yeah, I'm a crack shot! Ah! Dang! The cannon's aim is off. Aw, oh, bummer. No more ammo. Ingenious! You found the cruiser's manual speed control! Exactly! The manual... Uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Um, I see! You're accelerating the cruiser, instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done! That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Um, we <laughs> See those sparks fly! <laughs> Um, woohoo! <laughs> Faster still, this is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Nah, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on that. Hey, wake up! You're sleeping through the peak of my selflessness! Rats. Maximum speed already? Yeah, that's the organ on for you. Spoil sports. Hey, wake up! You're sleeping through the peak of my selflessness! Rats. Aw, oh, bummer. No more ammo. Goal! I will save you! Ah! Oh! What are you saying? My soul belongs to you, my selfless hero? Ah! No, I can't understand a word. I can't put out his burning coat right now. This hero is busy saving an actual person. <laughs> yes, she's hot. <laughs> yes, she's hot. I would have made an excellent, given the fact that there's old. I promised Goal I would never throw... <laughs> I never mentioned firing them. Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Goal, 
I will. Ah! I what? Ah! My soul. Ah! No, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, she's hot. For this and my Oh, bummer. No more ammo. Go. I uh, What do you say? Ah! My ah! No, I can't. What? Uh, daredevil! A hose. A hose is a hose is a hose. Someone leave the window open. So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale.